Hey everyone, MTAST here, and uh, I wanted to talk about something really quickly. I am live streaming right now, so if you want to come watch, twitch.tv slash MTAST. But I wanted to cover this because it's pretty hot news. It just hit Reddit. People came into my chat and were freaking out about this because this is pretty crazy. So I made a tweet. Due to some currency exchange differences and the Apple Store policy changes, prices got jacked up for multiple countries in Genshin Impact. Now, this is through the Apple Store. Uh, there's some pretty big changes. And if you're wondering, well, what are these changes? There's a Reddit thread down below in the comment section. Uh, but let me just zoom in here. The prices of some items got increased by 70 to 80% on the Russian App Store, uh, Apple iTunes Store uh, price range. So if you look at purchasing these, <laughs> let me just zoom in here. We are in the range of some people saying more than the monthly salary in some regions, half the salary of some people in Brazil. Now, there's a lot of comments down below, and I don't live in these countries, so I don't know what the average rates are. But this is a huge problem because no one's going to wish. No one is going to spend money on this game. And I can imagine a change like this is going to really impact the player base of the game. Increases to the price like this. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't imagine most people are happy, but I also can't imagine it's going to be good for them financially. No one's going to be spending that money. No one is going to be spending the money on the game, and people are going to be angry about this, and people are going to quit the game. And I could see, or I'm guessing, there's going to be a massive decline in many of these regions. Indonesia, India, South Africa, Iceland, Russia, Colombia, and Brazil. I'm not sure if anyone else was affected. If your country got affected, uh, if, if your area got affected, let me know in the comment section down below. But a 70 to 80 percent, a 70 to 80 percent increase? That is insanity. Uh, and, and, you know, the rates aren't great in this game already. Uh, the, the rates aren't great, period. Even in Canada, even in America, the rates aren't good. And the rates are the same everywhere. And so to then increase it and make it worse, to, to increase those prices, I mean, I don't want to spend money on the game, period. If they jacked up the prices 80% more? Bro, I wouldn't have spent a dime from the very start. I'm one of the idiots that wailed on this game already. Um... And, and, you know, they got, they've had 200, what is it, 250 million in profits. I've seen a lot of articles on that. 250 million in profits in like a month from this game. They've made back their dev cost, right? And I, I know that the company needs to make money. Every company needs to make money. And, and when you create a video game, your goal is to make money. You don't just create a game and be like, all right, guys, have fun, go and play. But... You know, between the prices of the store before and these changes to the app store, or these policy changes, it makes it pretty prohibitive. It is not necessarily MiHoYo's fault. They didn't just say, hey, we're jacking up the prices, but the prices were already pretty bad. And then now with these changes, them being forced, forced to increase the prices, um, this is not going to be good for the game long term. This is not going to be good for the game long term. I can see tons of people that are, that are, I mean, honestly, I would say read the comments of this. It's actually really interesting. Okay, so another thing I wanted to bring up is if I want to get this pack of crystals, it's 140 Canadian. Now, it's 100 US. Now, if you do the conversions from US to Canadian, more often than not, there's a few dollars here that are missing. Now, that could be due to taxes. I don't know exactly where it's going. But in my case, at the current exchange rate, it should only be 132, 131. But it, it, it's interesting that, you know, this isn't a floating rate. This is, this is a locked in, in stone thing. And depending on how those rates change, that impacts how expensive this is. And that happens for every single country. Now, apparently Brazil was cheaper back in the day if you were using American dollars. But, you know, on the Reddit post, this guy's saying... $4.99 US buys the blessing in the US, which is about 395 Russian rubles. But it's 449 rubles in Russia. So it's like the money isn't the same. And I understand that there's taxes, but this could be lots of money. This could be millions upon millions upon tens of millions upon hundreds of millions. 
So where is that money going and then what's going on here? It's a little sus. Okay, I'm already kind of sussed out about the whole monetization here. But now they're bringing up these prices. And now there's these, <laughs> these rate change. Like, I don't like this. And I don't think a player base is going to like this. I can imagine there are a lot of angry people. And, and you know, this isn't even necessarily affecting me. But I can imagine that there are a lot of people that watch this channel that are looking at this game. And all of a sudden, it got, you know, 20%, 30%, 40% more expensive. Now, this just in, someone in my Twitch chat just said, read the pinned post. Maybe there's more information on this story that I need to dive into. So looking at the post, it does have to do with the Apple Store. It has to do with the, the way that they're registering, you know, exchange rates, essentially. But guess what? Guess what? It doesn't matter whose fault it is. It matters that the prices are insanity now. <laughs> it doesn't matter how they're referencing it. There's a bunch of countries... That got destroyed. If you are interested in Genshin Impact and you're thinking to yourself, hey, maybe I wanted to play this game, spend a couple dollars. Regardless of if I recommend that or I don't, it just got more expensive for you. So it doesn't matter why it's happening. All that matters is this cucks a lot of people in the, in the game. There are going to be thousands and, and thousands of players. Tens of thousands of players that will probably never spend money on the game now until this has changed. And, um, you know, maybe that leads to profit issues for them down the road, but more often than not, it's probably just going to lead to people getting angry and quitting the game. If they log in, if I logged in and I saw that all of a sudden this was at two, 200 bucks, I'd be like, all right, I'm done. I'm just, I just, I'm, I just quit. <laughs> I, I just, I don't give a shit if I'm not even spending the money. If I saw, if I walked in and I just saw... $200 Canadian on this all of a sudden, I'm done. I just quit. That's it. I'm like, nope, this game's going to die. This game's going to die. And I wonder if the player base is really going to fall. Um, you know, I am planning on going back and covering Destiny. And, uh, and I was going to come back to this game, and I will come back. But I'm really going to have to look at Google Trends. I'm going to have to look at the popularity of this game because I can imagine that this is a pretty big hit. No? Anyways. That's pretty much it for me. There, there's not much more to say other than uh, I'm sorry for the people that are in, in Brazil and Russia that are trying to play this game and, and, and maybe thinking about buying a couple gems and then all of a sudden it's, <laughs> it's 70. 70 I'm not, why am I laughing? It's not funny. You know what? It is so absurd. <laughs> it is so absurd that it doesn't seem possible. Like normally it's like, hey, we adjusted things. You know, our cheeseburger was $5 and now it's five twenty. The cheese... Got a little bit more expensive, right? They don't go, hey guys, uh, by the way, our cheeseburger is now nine dollars. Uh, you know, exchange rates, right? They're pretty pricey. They don't double the price of a cheeseburger. They they add maybe a little bit here, a little bit there. They don't just say, all right, well, we're gonna crank that thing 80%. Uh, so <laughs> yikes. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Come hang out in the stream. We're having lots of fun. Twitch.tv slash mtash. I love you. We're gamers. That's it.